Good morning, everybody. Dr. Wong here, Best FN Dad. Today is Tuesday, December 21st, four days until Christmas. Don't look there, but you know, I, Dr. V is getting ready for some Christmas. Let me give you the COVID update. As I mentioned, the numbers are bad. Some people might be saying, hey, Dr. V, I thought you said we were going to have two pandemics this winter, and already Omicron is 75% of the cases. Calm down. Let me give you the numbers real quick. So, it is still really hot up there in the Northeast, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio area, Illinois, Chicago's on fire, New York City's on fire. I want to talk about those two cities here in a second. But uh, where it was hotter earlier, Minnesota, Colorado, Wyoming, those areas are coming down. Even New Mexico's come down. That's important. I want to talk about that. But what I mentioned before with the South rising up, that's happening. Florida numbers in the last week have increased 300%. Florida has gone from 1,000 cases a day to 5,000 cases a day, roughly. My city of Houston is now a hot spot. Um, it is, you know, around, it's, uh, the 14-day average is over 2,000 cases. I think the single-day average is 4,000, single-day, uh, 4,000 cases a day. We are hot, hot, hot here in Houston, and it is all fucking Omicron, okay, in the south. So Florida, Miami, that's Omicron. Houston is Omicron. Um, New York City, Chicago, still dealing with Delta. Now, you might say to go, Dr. V needs to update his info, because, you know, Listen, don't confuse, the, don't confuse the numbers. New York City is in trouble. It is, New York State is one of the hottest um, Delta places here in the country, right? And New York City is 10,000 cases a day and rapidly rising. Now, they've been dealing with Delta. Now, the recent uptick might be Omicron, but the vast majority of cases are still Delta. Trust me on that, okay? And Delta, we know, is a bad player. Now... The good news is that there's um, a good amount of prior infection, but also vaccination. Dr. V, I thought if vaccines work, then why do we have all these surges in cases? Dude, even a state like New York City, New York, a state like New York City, a state like New York, 70% vaccination rate, let's just round it up to 70%. New York City is, let's call it 10 million people to make, make the math easy. That still leaves 3 million people who are not vaccinated, guys. So you have 3 million people in New York City, and we're at 10,000 cases a day in New York City. It's got a bunch of more unvaccinated lungs. Now, luckily, if you're vaccinated, especially if you're boosted, your cases will be mild. And a lot of times, those will go unreported, quite honestly. People stay home, like me, they think they have allergies, etc. I think I have allergies, because <laughs> this has been shipping going on for a while. And... So the case numbers are actually probably much higher. And now with the Omicron variant being uh, three times more contagious, it's just really um, upticking. Now, why is this important? So right on cue, you're starting to see these numbers in the South going up. My, my hometown of Houston is on fire, guys. Miami is on fire. Um, you're starting to see it light up in the South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, New Orleans is about to be on fire. We know New Orleans did really badly with the Delta. It still remains these low vaccinated states there. Georgia and Alabama might be 60% on a, on a good day. So they're going to get burned through with Omicron, all right? Now, I will admit it's happening a lot faster than I thought because we still have What's today? 21st. So 10 more days left in December. I thought it would be beginning of January, but it might be the end of December when uh, the U.S., the southern U.S. is on fire and the northern U.S. is dealing with Delta. Now, here's the big question. So does that mean, and, and um, Omicron is burning through pretty quickly, but I don't think it's as fast as everybody's predicting. Now, it happened in South Africa, but look at, look at uh, U.K., UK is in trouble. I mean, they have more cases than they've ever had. Relatively high vaccinated, you know, 65, 70% vaccination rate. Uh, but that's still a lot of lungs, man. <clears throat> still a lot of un unvaccinated lungs. Now, they've got more cases, what, 80, 90,000 cases a day. And they doesn't look like they're slowing down. You know, it's not burning, you know... If they hit 100,000 cases in the, in the UK, which I, th I think they have, I mean, average 100,000, I mean, we're going to see 400, five, 500,000 average cases here in the United States, average. And the 
<clears throat> the NIH director who just retired says we could hit a million cases a day in the United States. Okay, now how, how does that happen? Well, I'm sitting here thinking self to myself, you know, self, if, if the Omicron variant is burning a lot faster and if it takes the South over a lot faster, let's say end of December, beginning of January, the South is hot with Omicron, the Midwest, that upper area, Ohio, Illinois is hot with Delta, but then Delta is starting to come down. How do we get to a million cases? Omicron goes back behind it and hits Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, Michigan. Because remember, that's Delta that they went through, South Dakota, North Dakota. And now Omicron comes back and hits it again. Then you could see a scenario where you have in Northern California, Oregon, if that gets hit with Omicron, now you can see how we could hit a million cases a day. Here's a question, and I don't know the answer to this. And anyone who claims they do, you're lying. Um, we don't know if prior infection with, Del with Delta, not wild type, not alpha, I'm, I'm talking Delta. Does prior infection with, with Delta variant offer any protection from Omicron? In other words, can you catch Delta, get over, and then catch Omicron? Answers, we don't know yet. Okay, we don't know yet. I think they have to tease through that data. I think they're going to get rid of, they're going to like look at the South African data as like, oh, it's kind of interesting. But they're, everyone's waiting on the UK and European data to see what really happened, what will really happen in the United States. There's some African things that are weird, you know, like um, malaria. I mean, they have different type of treatments. I'll give you one I didn't mention before. Maybe the South African... Um, uh, cases, Omicron cases, look milder. Think about this, HIV. Have, the, have, have you seen the news mention HIV? I haven't seen it. I mean, if you're talking about a population in Africa that for decades have been the center hotspot of HIV and they've been taking antivirals for HIV, could there be some cor corollary um, benefit f uh, from protection against Coronavirus, possibly, because they've been a huge swath of populations taking antivirals for HIV. So you kind of hold that data kind of on the side. Everyone's still waiting for the UK European data to come in on Omicron to see if Delta infection will give us protection against Omicron. Maybe, maybe not. Too early to say. I will say, I am shocked at Houston. The first death from Omicron happened yesterday in um, in uh, Houston here in Houston. So it was in a 50 year old man, unvaccinated and definite Omicron isolate and has passed away, unfortunately. So it is way too early to say that Omicron uh, is uh, less dangerous, milder symptoms, etc. As I've been telling you, you got to wait on this. It's not looking that good. I will tell you, it looks like hospitalizations are going up here in Houston. Right, so the other day I said 45% of the cases out of Houston Methodist is um, uh, Omicron. That was on Friday. Two days later, by Sunday, that number was up to 75%. So two days later, today, Tuesday, they haven't reported it, but I'm sure if they did, it would be up there in the 90% is Omicron. And, um, and I said hospitalizations, it turned out it also included their ER and outpatient treatment centers. So that's effing crazy, okay? Now we have a death and, pay attention now, a report out of Texas Children's Hospital, one of the largest children's hospitals in the world, that their hospitalizations have increased for children due to, due to COVID. Now, you need to take this seriously. Listen to me, why? Well, Dr. Vong, I will just use my natural immunity. Let, let me give you a handful of reasons why this is problematic. Remember, doctors, healthcare providers are not superhumans. They're humans, <laughs> they're great people, but up to one third of healthcare providers, nurses, techs, respiratory therapists, doctors, in intensivists, up to a third of them could be out sick, guys. Imagine in January when we have this huge surge and a third of healthcare providers, everybody, is out sick with COVID. 
there's going to be huge lines, backups. So that's number one. Healthcare providers will get could get sick. Number two, I'll just use if I get sick, I'll just use monoclonal antibodies. We might have a shortage of monoclonal antibodies. We already do in hot spots, and we also don't know. We suspect that the monoclonal antibody treatments are not effective against Omicron, are not effective. That's the early data, that they're losing their efficacy. So if you're counting on that, that might not rescue your butt this time. And number three, uh, and then we have shortage of the antibodies. Number three, testing. We In areas that are hot, you are having shortage of rapid tests. Long lines, it's winter. You're really gonna stand your ass outside in a long line during winter. You don't remember anything from last year? Best thing to do is get boosted. If you haven't been vaccinated, start your series now. It will give you some protection, but dude, you're not out of the woods. Uh, and then uh, isolate, wear a mask. No more indoor dining for Dr. V. It's definite hot spot. I might go back for the next couple of weeks buying bulk groceries, minimizing going out, all that stuff. It's just for a couple of weeks, but we will have to see. Pray for me, everybody. Houston is hot, and you will see the South will rise again. It's doing it. It's what I've been saying is going to happen. So we will have a dual pandemic. Um, don't misread the headlines. I know Omicron is the dominant variant in the United States. Dude, only in new cases. It's the dominant. When they test sample new cases, it's showing up 75% Omicron. But the whole country, all the existing cases are Delta. The ones in the hospital are Delta, Delta, Delta. Very small fractions of Omicron. People are misreading the headlines. So what's happening is a lot of Delta, a lot of Delta, a lot of Delta. Here in Houston, Miami, Florida, it's starting to become trickling up Omicron. That's exactly what I'm going to tell you. So come January 1st, January 5th, you're going to have the top half of the United States be Delta, the South be Omicron, and we have to see what happens with Washington, Oregon, Upper California. If that pops up Omicron, you'll have your answer. You'll have your answer. We're fucked. <laughs> I love y'all. Stay safe. Take it seriously. See you next time. Bye, guys.